Oh, what's up? The Geeky Fire MMA. It was a late video, got a lot of distraction, but this will be the post fight recap of this weekend. I'm outside here today because I got lots of kids over, so I'm outside. Take a look. And yeah, um, what are my thoughts? Well, my thoughts was the best fight was got to be Yel Romero and Paul Costa. Going to this one, I had uh, Yel winning. Costa tends to, uh, uh, what was it, go, I wanted Costa to win. And then uh, I had, but I was, my head was going with Yel. And uh, Costa tends to run like, he's super aggressive. Hands tends to be low, and uh, not much head movements as previous fights. But uh, yeah, this one I kind of ed edged it to uh, Costa because I think Yell like majority of his shots was like the to the head were jabs, but I think Costa landed uh, more overall strikes. Like Costa landed more power shots to the head. And to the body as well. Um, round two was the deciding factor. It was a close one. I kind of missed the first 30 seconds because I had to go uh, help out a buddy of mine um, get inside the house, have a uh, broken foot. So, but I missed the first like 30 seconds of round two. But man, it was a close one. I think Yell kind of. Um, slowly took back control of the second but I don't think he did a lot of significant impact compared to Costa or Boris Chima you know that was yeah it was a close one and Yell came back in the third won the third round um, I think it was a fight where Costa had more uh, if he had better uh, Energy management, he could have won, but you know, he blew his load. Well, he could have won more decisively, but you know, dude blew his load trying to finish Yell, and uh, Yell was able to survive and come back. So, uh, good fight, good experience for Costa. You know, hopefully, he could adapt to this moving on forward. Um, Nate Diaz, boy, you know, do look good. He, I mean, you know. Technically sound like as far as technique wise goes, he did not look you know, it looks kind of sloppy, but that's how he always lo looks. You know, it's just one of those guys who like doesn't look like his form is all that great, but you know, he still gets the job done. What I liked about Diaz in this one was uh, he started implementing the knees, the tie clinch into his arsenal, like. Yeah, he did in the past, but it wasn't. It was more like instinctively. Man. It wasn't like you could tell it wasn't well drilled. It was just out of instinct. But this time, you know, you could tell he that was part of his game plan. He trained those his uh, susceptibility to leg kicks. Eh, he still got kick here and there, but you know, he showed that you know it's not gonna be as easy as oh. You know, anybody could just train leg kicks, had good kicks, and go in there and beat him with leg kicks. You know, his leg kick defense definitely improved. He started backing up more, checked a little bit more, and, you know, started dodging leg kicks. Pretty impressed. You know, he uh, had a little uh, slow start. First round, it tends to be a slow start, but, you know, that layoff, you could tell the layoff was impacting his cardio because his cardio was like, fucking uh, he looked gassed out and that was not because he was out of shape that was uh, the layoff man if you haven't fought like some people ring rust affects some not all and affects some differently also depending on who you're fighting and yeah good job for Diaz almost uh, TKO Pettis with the knees and then uh, Pettis survived and got onto the ground and do Diaz looked more like a mixed martial artist here. Back then he was just a, uh, what was it, like a pressure puncher. 
we don't even call him like a full uh, boxer because like you know he has some boxing fundamentals but you know he takes a lot of shots now he's like more complete makes my You know, he's like, de like, got some decent takedowns on Pez. Yeah, um, he's a legit martial, uh, mixed martial arts now, you know. That's what I really like about him. Like, I think uh, the first corner fight, after the right hand, he's after that left straight, he landed a corner. People weren't talking about this, but he threw some decent knees to the body. And uh, that also contributed too. And the uh, second fight, there was no knees at all. But if he implements this and they get a trilogy fight, I might have to go with Diaz. Uh, honestly, I think Diaz won the second fight as well. You know, and I used to be like a Diaz doubter, you know. Still, like, I still don't think he's gonna be like getting that world championship. Like if he uh, if they put up against like Habib or any uh, champion, I don't think he's gonna get that belt. But still, you know, he's still legit. Managed to stay consistent, and while all the top guys tend to like fall, Diaz always like this, and some of the guys are like this. So like Diaz managed to stay consistent and you know improve a little bit too. So good for the guy. Um, to the main event, Stipe looked like, ooh, he looked really stiff, and like I think he was still like kind of like phased and low affected by the first fight, round one. He was like he couldn't do it seemed like he couldn't do anything at all. But you know, he took wore those punches better, he took those shots better, and um. You know, who knows, maybe the first fight, he had bad sparring, he got hurt, who knows, maybe he still didn't fully recover for Ngandu, but the guy is, you know, this one, it's a good fight, but it, it was like virtually no head movement, like Stipe looked like his boxing was not that great, like, and just maybe it's just my opinion, but there was like virtually almost zero head movements from both guys. It was like rocking, socking robots almost. And, uh, you know, I think DC was winning, but uh, I think one of the rounds I gave to Stipe, and then uh, Stipe found that body shot and just kept going, going. DC had no answer to that. And then, you know, eventually he got. Uh, Stipe unloaded the combinations and uh, finished DC, you know. It was a epic match. It was like, it was a good fight, but man, it's like, I, I still feel like that was not the best Stipe. Like, he had no head movement, like, fewer in the past. Maybe it's just me. Maybe that's just what I'm thinking, but, you know, to me it looked like it was zero head movement from both guys. You know, DC, DC he had his hands low. I don't know, like, this fight was... It was a little different. Like, they seemed a little... They both them seemed a little different. DC was more tired than usual. And maybe, you know, maybe in the first fight, it would have went like that too if uh, DC didn't catch him. So who knows? Or maybe, D, like, this one, DC, I think the first fight, DC is like 250 something. Now he was like 236. Stipe was like, you know, Stipe was like 10 pounds lighter or something like that. You know, like, maybe if DC had that extra pound, maybe, who knows, maybe he could have uh, finished uh, Stipe. But, good fight. Uh, Stipe became champ again. Uh, who knows what's next for DC? I'm thinking they're probably gonna push a rubber match between DC and Stipe. If not, you know, Ngannou's gonna get it, or John Jones against Stipe. Which I highly doubt John will ever move up, so, you know, oh well. 
this good uh, night of fights. Uh, fuck the pay per view. I bought that shit. It did not even fucking work on my fucking laptop. You know, I was trying HDMI that shit. And then I had to fucking resort to illegal streaming. Like, what the fuck, man? I bought that fucking shit and it kept fucking up. So, yeah, uh, fuck ESPN. Fuck the new pay per view deal. I was trying to be supportive and, you know, I bought the pay per view, unlike most people, and that shit still did not work, so. I just gotta do that shit illegal from now on. Unless I go to a fucking restaurant. So, yeah. You know, screw ESPN. They still haven't refunded me yet. They say they will, but they do not even do an email confirmation or send me anything. So, I don't even know if they just saying that. And, yeah. Um, don't buy the ESPN pay-per-view. That's all I must say, man. It worked on, like, my phone, but that shit... I uh, connected the TV and it kept lagging. I was like, the illegal stream works better. Like, what the hell is wrong with this? And why can't it work on my laptop? Like, what the hell? So, yeah, uh, that's all I'm going to say. Um, that's a different topic. But, oh well. Yeah, fuck ESPN, UFC pay per views. Um, good night of fights, though. Good car. Uh, Yusuf. I forgot to do the same. Do one by uh, first round knockout too, and uh, I missed the other fights because I was trying to get that shit to work. And it's like, yeah, screw it, it didn't work. So we just resorted back to illegal streaming. And yeah, um, I'll make another video for the Habib and Poirier. That's gonna be a good one. So yeah, uh, peace out.